get some makeup. Baby, bad, no makeup. Baby, bad, no makeup. Gotta scream for her makeup. Yo, what up? I'm Khadija Nicole, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, definitely make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button right now. It's down below, and join the team. Right after you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit the bell so you are instantly notified for when I post new videos here on my channel. So today's video is going to be a makeup haul. Now I know I really don't post many makeup videos here on my channel, but you know, I kind of want to get a little bit into the, the makeup world some more. Like I wear makeup, but um, one of the main things that I am not really great at is eyeshadows, but with today's video, I'm going to be getting into some eyeshadows, everything like that. And your girl is going to start having some eyeshadow looks coming. Because, you know, my main thing, I like to, you know, have a nice wing liner. Uh, of course, some highlight. Your girl loves some highlighter. Uh, I like my eyebrows popping and a nice lip. Um, pretty much, I like the basics. I like a real everyday type of look. But I do want to get into, you know, foundation and how to blend and different types of colors, cut crease makeup. So for today's video, I want to share with you guys some products that I was sent over by ShotPunch.com. They contacted me and I picked out some things that I wanted to try out and I have been absolutely loving everything that I chose. So the products were sent in this cute little pink box. Um, it just had a label on it that said shophush.com across it of course i've opened it and i've been using the products and they are bomb while i was on the site i chose five different things and i'm gonna go ahead and get into them and i think i will do my makeup as well as i show you guys what i picked out because i don't have any makeup on right now so we're gonna get it popping in the video um for right now i'm gonna go ahead do my eyebrows um, foundation, my concealer, and I'll be back. So I just went ahead and applied my primer, but before I do my foundation and my concealer i wanted to share with you guys the brushes that i will be using today i got these from shophush.com and they are these little brushes right here they have like a rose gold metal right here and then the bottom is like a purple kind of periwinkle type color and they are dirty but i have been using them like i said and i do like them but unfortunately one of them broke like right after i took it out of the package i don't know maybe it didn't have enough glue here right on the top but as you can see this little piece here it broke off I could probably put it back on uh, with some glue so I'm gonna try that because this is a good brush for eyeshadow so I'm gonna try to fix that it just I don't know I opened the wrapper and it popped off I didn't break I don't know what happened but I really do like these brushes here it's a whole bunch of different ones like we have some foundation brushes um, eyeshadow you can use this for your highlighter little fan brush got all these brushes it was 10 different ones so i will be using some of these to apply my makeup today Alright, so now I have my foundation, my eyebrows, and my concealer highlight on. And this is what I'm working with right now. I'm gonna go in and set my face with some powder. And this is J Cat Beauty's Luxe Pro Powder in Banana. 
and this might be a dupe for the um I'll have the dupes located right here, but I'm using JCat's banana powder. Now, I know I should probably have like a squishy sponge or whatever, or something to put my powder on my face better, but I just have this brush, so your girl is still learning. I don't have all the makeup things in life, so work with me. I mean, I just use what I have. So I'm just gonna take a little bit, put it under my eyes. Now, I don't like to do all that baking stuff. I just brush this on. Feel I can get a better application brush. Let me know in the comments what's a good way to, I mean, what's a good product to use to set under my eyes. I think I could also use a beauty blender maybe. I need to get a new one. But for right now, this is what I'm gonna use. And just kind of brush it on. Powder is really good to use for like oily skin cause it kind of, you know, just sets your face. Holds that oil down at least for a little bit. And the places I get most oily is my forehead and like right here on my cheeks. I just become a oily mess ball. So I need all the products that's gonna keep my oil at a minimum. Cause I feel like there isn't any way to completely not be oily. After a while, some oil is gonna pop up on this face. <laughs> okay, just rub it in everywhere. Set the whole face, you feel me? <laughs> All right, so got my powder on and I really do like this powder. It goes great with my skin complexion and it's been working really good with keeping my oil to a minimum. Now I'm just gonna go in and do my waterline. Okay, the look's coming together. So next, of course, I have to get my cat eye popping. I have the Callus Makeup Pro Wing Stamp Eyeliner, I believe it's called. I'm gonna go ahead and open it up. Now they have two different sizes of this. They have like a slim and then like one that's chunkier. And that is pretty much pertaining to the size of the stamp part, if you wanna use that. I haven't used the stamp thing because I'm not quite sure how it works. I guess it's supposed to stamp like a wing on the end, but I like to draw my own wing because the way this wing looks, I don't think that's the way that I like for my wing to be. So here's on this side where the wing thing is, and this is what it looks like. I don't know if y'all can see that. It looks like a little square or something. I mean, not a square. It's like a triangle. See it? And I guess you're supposed to just stamp your wing on. But yeah, the little stamps over here. On the opposite side is a regular like felt tip piece. And this is the side that I use. Now sometimes I feel like I have to shake up these type of um, eyeliner things because the stuff dries out fast. That's the only thing I don't like about the felt things. The product seems to dry out fast. And I don't like it. I'm gonna go in Ooh, like I'm crying. I'm not, I promise. Ah! See, it's not, it's not enough. It's not putting out enough product to me. I don't know. It's not necessarily this like brand of product or anything. It's just like these felt things, period. They don't really put out enough product. This is kind of hard to draw on camera and like look in the mirror at the same time. Sheesh. Yeah, this ain't enough product. I'm gonna probably go over it with my other eyeliner thing. I just like my wing liner to be really dark. This ain't cutting it for me. Gotta whip out the old baddie. Now, if you don't like your eyeliner super dark, then that's perfect. I mean, not eyeliner, your wing liner. It's perfect, I mean, it's not a bad product, but I like mine darker. Oh my gosh, I'm messing up. This is hard to do on camera. Oh my gosh. Do y'all, do y'all see that? I'm, I'll be back. I'm, Exit stage left. All right, so I finally got my wing liner right and popping. Oh yeah, I need some, a little bit of, um, what's it called? Um, y'all really got a brain fart. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> Dang, what is it called? Oh, contour. Just a little bit right here. I don't think I put enough foundation on. But then again, I don't like my face to be super, super foundationed. Just a little slight. 
contour. <laughs> Y'all done sat here and did my daggone wing liner and I forgot I wanted to share with y'all the eyeshadow palette. This eyeshadow palette is by Bad Habit and it is Aphrodite, I believe, and it has 18 color eyeshadows in this bad boy. And this is a dupe for, I'll leave the name right there because your girl isn't quite, you know, hip to all of the eyeshadow palettes right now, but I'm learning. So I'll leave the that palette right there that is this is a dupe for so i'm gonna go ahead get into this palette show y'all what's in it so are you guys ready da, 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 da. <laughs> Ooh. hey let's do that again i don't think y'all was i don't think y'all said ooh with me so we're gonna do it again Ooh. <laughs> so got a lot of beautiful colors in here as you guys can see we got a lot of it's very like kind of nightsy type color. So this will be a good palette to wear at night for when you go out. Glittery looking colors. We got some chocolate browns, black, some nudes, kind of uh, burgundy type colors. So some of the names are like tease, admire, flirt, lust, romance, jealousy, seduction, blushing, love, poi, beauty, infatuation like you can you could just hear by the names i told y'all this is a night palette great for some nighttime looks i'm gonna try to do a little something i think i want to do some um, kind of neutral because a lot of times i like to have things that can go with a lot of different outfits and yeah so i'm gonna do something neutral i'm gonna use mm, seduction I'm just gonna put this all over my lid. How's it looking, y'all? Let me know. So now I'm gonna go in with, what will look good with this? I'm gonna use Admire. It's this color right here. Try to show y'all what color I'm using. Um, I like Adore, so I'm gonna use this color right here. This is kind of flaky, like, I guess because it's so glittery. Now, see, this is why you should do your eyeshadow before your foundation because now I got glitter on my freaking face. Okay. I think it looks kind of cute. Now I know it's definitely not the best eyeshadow look, but I'm learning and I'm trying, so let me zoom back in and show y'all. So this is what I came up with. Okay, I know it. It ain't bomb like these other beauty gurus on here that be beating their face. I'm gonna have to watch some more of their tutorials so your girl can learn too. But this is what I did. So yeah, as you guys can see, the palette is definitely very pigmented. Got those swatches there. You can see they look really nice. And I'm definitely going to be using this palette a lot so I can get better with my eyeshadow looks. So as you guys know, but if you don't know, I absolutely love highlighter. The next thing I'm going to share with you guys is a highlighter palette. It is Unicorn Glow by Face candy comes in this pretty pretty packaging like yes unicorn so you just gotta take it out i'm telling y'all i absolutely love this palette i'm stuck oh there you go okay so unicorn glow like i can't get over packaging it's so cute and then once again are you guys ready i don't think y'all really ready for this one because here we go I gotta zoom this in so y'all can get the full effect. Here are the colors. Yes, I have been loving this palette. So the names for these here highlighters are Wonder, Dream, Stardust, Celestial, I think. Enchanted and Fantasy. Super pretty. So there is the Unicorn Glow. And let me tell you, when you wear this highlighter, you are going to glow. I have been wearing Enchanted and Stardust, but I definitely want to try out Fantasy. I think I might put on Fantasy today because <laughs> what's your fantasy? <laughs> Look at it, purpley. 
I feel like a unicorn. <laughs> pretty, pretty. Mm -hmm. So lastly, all I'm gonna do is apply something for my lips. Now I haven't been into lipsticks lately, but I've been into lip glosses. Just gonna go ahead and apply some to my lips. Got my lip gloss on and my look is complete. I just need to go in, apply some setting spray and I'll be done. So although I'm done with my face right now, I have two more palettes I want to share with you guys. Now I didn't pick these out, but Shop Hush sent me some bonus palettes. So I'm gonna share them with you guys as well. Shout out to Shop Hush for hooking your girl up. Your girl's makeup is about to be extra popping. I'm gonna be getting more into eyeshadows as I have told you guys. And I've got two more palettes to help out with that. These are two more eyeshadow palettes. So the first one I have right here is by Bad Habit and it is called Retro Love. Comes in this pretty blue packaging. Now this set here has 14 eyeshadow colors. And let's see what we got. Ooh! And here we have some kind of like neutrally type colors. Two kind of goldish colors here. Um, some of the names are Psychedelic, Icon, Hippie, Pop, Rebel, Mod, Rock and Roll, Peace, Flower Power, Youth, Revolution, Nostalgia, Fab, and Free Love. So I really like the names of this it has that like free i like it's retro love that's exactly what it's giving i haven't used this palette yet so let me know if you guys want to see me testing it out in a future video um maybe you get ready with me or just me doing my makeup so the next eyeshadow palette they also sent me is by face candy and it is called sugar doesn't this look like just so edible i feel like this looks like a, a candy pack and it's like some jelly beans or something in here and now this palette here is an 18 eyeshadow palette and it comes in like a tin type of can i like that and it just looks it just looks so fun. Let's see the shadow. Bam. And these colors definitely remind me of like candy. Um, some of the names are glaze, latte, whipped cream, cherry pie, sugar and spice, creme brulee, cinnamon sugar, hot cocoa, candy, blueberry pie, chocolate cake, s'mores, gingerbread, mocha, pistachio, brownie, blackberry tart, and licorice. Get into those, super pretty. So with that, that wraps up today's products that I wanted to share with you guys. As I said, I am stepping more into the makeup world. I mean, I've always, you know, dabbled a little bit in makeup. I do my own makeup, but I'm not, you know, savvy with the eyeshadow looks per se, but I'm gonna be, you know, looking at more tutorials here on YouTube. And I wanna share with you guys the looks that I do come up with. So this was today's look. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Helps your girl out. Let me know how I did in the comments below. And as always, I'll see you in my next video. I'm out. Check. I was born to lead, so why don't they follow me? Seems like we rather follow trends, get caught up in that trap again.